how Biden trumped Trump. Vote gate election analysis. Now, I was going to do a pretty lengthy analysis on this um, election, but after four or five days of absolute hell, I'm going to do a very short analysis and I'm just going to get to the point right away. Trump got well and truly beaten. And um, I don't think he's going to go anywhere with his lawsuits. Um, but he has also done very well to get this far. Also done very, very well to be elected by so many people, to be voted for by so many people. He's gotten the second highest rate of votes of any president in the history of the presidency, in the history of office, in the history of an election. Biden now comes first. Biden has the most votes of any president in the history of presidential elections. And that is a major achievement for both of them. Yes, Trump fans, Trump supporters, Trumpists, you will not be feeling good that he's out or that he will be leaving. Um, he will try and create all kinds of conspiracy theories he is uh, a narcissist. He's an egotist. He is not going to go down without a fight. And um, he is a terrible, terrible loser. But Donald Trump, make no mistake about it, he has done exceptionally well to get this far. Now, I'm going to tell you why I think Biden was victorious. Uh, I think ultimately speaking, Biden probably got the minority vote. And I think, even though I don't think there were any clear winners in the debates, I think that Biden highlighted a lot of Trump's failures. Now, Trump has done some good things. There's no question about it. I don't dislike Trump at all. Um, there's a lot of things about him that I don't like, but he has done some good things. But I think what ultimately he fell down on is his handling of the coronavirus. I think his handling of the coronavirus has been terrible for the American people. He didn't take it seriously. I've said this before. He didn't take it seriously. He didn't act fast enough. And he put a lot of people's lives in jeopardy and at risk because according to him, the virus was going to be disappear in April with the heat. That never happened. So I think ultimately he felt that's where he stumbled, um, his handling of the coronavirus. Um, yes, the media don't like him, but Trump has a lot of loyal fans. Um, people are saying that, how is it that v Biden's got so many votes when so many people turned up at Trump's rallies? Thousands and thousands of people um, turned up at Trump's rallies. Well, the thousands of people that turned up at Donald Trump's rallies are his niche audience. They don't represent the whole American um, voting population. They don't represent the entire electoral college. So Donald Trump has loyalists, he has staunch supporters, um, but they don't represent the entire spectrum of the American voting system. Um, and I think that with Kamala Harris and being a former vice president of Barack Obama, there's no question that Biden would have gotten a great deal of the minority votes. There's no question about that. I don't exactly know who voted in their masses, but I'm pretty certain that um, Biden would have gotten possibly a great deal of young people voting for him, possibly a great deal of minority voters, um, and possibly people who just aren't happy with the direction of, of, of things, that, you know, the way things were going, you know, with the coronavirus and the terrible impact that has had on the American public. Now, like I said, Trump has done extremely well, extremely well. He has lost fair and square, but he is done, has done extremely well, even to become just a one term president. And like I said, I don't think he's going to get anywhere with his litigations. I don't think he's going to get anywhere with his lawsuits. Trump got beat and he got soundly beat. Um, but he has done very, very well. And um, no one can say that Trump is a complete and utter failure. Um, he is not gonna take this defeat well. Like I said, he is a narcissist, he's egotistical. 
um, failure in any way to win is going to be a complete and utter, um, you know, it's going to be a nightmare for him. Um, but the Republicans and conservative voters can look up, you know, you've got, you know, you're doing well, you've done well in the Senate and the House and everything like that. It's not going to be an easy road for Biden in the, in the next four years. And, um, you know, Donald Trump, make no mistake about it, Donald Trump has done extremely well even to get this far. But ultimately, I think his handling of the coronavirus, his divisive rhetoric, I think ultimately that's where he fell short and that's where he stumbled. Um, I think Biden, I don't think he's a perfect candidate. Um, I wanted him to win, yes, but I don't think he's a perfect candidate. But I think that he is the better candidate. He's more presidential. He is more, yeah, I think he actually, he's actually a better speaker. I think he is less narcissistic and less egotistical than Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump was declaring himself the winner long before he was, the, you know, long before all the votes were counted. The fact of the matter is that there are a lot of people who mailed in their votes and this has been the most voted for election in the history of the presidential elections. And there were hun literally hundreds of thousands of votes to count. It was never going to be over in just a few hours. So Donald Trump wrongfully, egotistically and narcissistically declared himself the winner without realizing that there were a lot of mail-in votes that needed to be counted. And I'm not saying that it's a perfect voting system. I'm not saying that. But, you know, he didn't count on a lot of votes um, in a lot of the states, the suburban votes, the urban votes, the mail-in votes. A lot of people came to have come to me and said to me that they voted before, um, you know, they, they mailed in their votes long before um, the election even started, that they already made their votes. And there's hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people who voted by mail. And like I said, more people voted in this election than any other election. And um, those votes have to be counted. Every vote counts. There's no conspiracy here. Um, you know, if Donald Trump, if there was a real conspiracy against Donald Trump, he wouldn't have won um, in Florida. He wouldn't have won, you know, he won in some major states by a, a big margin. And um, it wouldn't have taken this long if, the, if there was any fraud. If people were just fraudulently, you know, counting votes for Biden, the election process would not have taken this long. Donald Trump got beaten and he got beaten fair and square. Now, did I think that Donald Trump was probably going to get reelected? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because a lot of people that come to this channel did vote for Trump and are fans of Trump. And he has a, a huge loyal support system. So I did think it was likely that he would be re-elected. However, I knew that there was no um, guarantee that he would be elected, and I don't trust polls. Uh, now, when it comes to the polls, a lot of people are saying, how come the polls got it so wrong? The polls didn't get it totally wrong because the polls were right. The polls showed that Biden was going to win. Um, unfortunately, they didn't show that Biden... Um, you know, they didn't, it didn't show that it was going to be, the polls didn't show that the race was going to be as close as it was. But ultimately, the polls ended up being quite right um, in terms of the electoral um, votes. He's won, Biden has won. And in the popular vote, he's won by a very large margin, as far as I know. So Yes, the, the polls are not perfect. They're an indicator only. They're never, ever perfect. They're just an indicator. Um, and they did indicate that Biden was going to be victorious and Biden is victorious. Um, there's no fraud going on. There's, you know, all those conspiracy theories, I think they'll end up being debunked. Donald Trump got beaten, beaten fair and square. And um, America has a new president. And it will be interesting to see how things will pan out in the coming weeks and months. Thank you very much for listening.